Hey, this is AC Rage here. I'm doing another one of my famous interviews. Today I'm sitting with a very good friend of mine, Jason Knight. First off, I'd like to thank you for taking uh, time off your busy schedule to do this interview with us today. No problem. So, how is life like for you when you're not wrestling? Well, when I'm not wrestling, it's... Well, it, it's like a whole different reality I'm in. Because when I'm at home, it's like I'm just, you know, helping my family, babysitting my baby cousin. But when I'm wrestling, it's just like I just turn into this whole different person. I'm... You know, I get psyched up, I go into the match, you know, I do my thing and, you know, eventually I win. That's what I usually do. Uh, what did you do before you came into wrestling? Before I came into wrestling, I was, I was actually a skateboarder because I was uh, skateboarding, you know, I did my thing, go skateboard tricks. But, you know, recently my skateboard broke and I sent it to Eric's house and I left it there and I haven't seen it since. And where it says he pawned it for crack. But, you know, that kind of just shattered my whole skateboarding thing, so I went to wrestling. So, how exactly did you get into wrestling world? Well, actually it was me and you. You told me, I remember it was not long before school, you told me about somebody starting a backyard wrestling thing and they needed new talent. So, you know, he went to the uh, show, which would happen to be HWF. -H he went there, you know, met trainers, we met Franklin, we met Trey Dollar, we met all the wrestlers there, and we ended up getting about five minutes of training in. We wrestled our first match of that show. I don't even want to release the names that we went under, but we wrestled. You know, I looked like a Kurt Cobain basically in a fishnet trying to wrestle. Yeah. It was a sad thing. And I wrestled uh, Troy and beat us, and Franklin basically helped him. Yeah, cheap match. We, we lost. Well, what did you think of that show altogether? Altogether, it was a great show. When I went there, they had the pyrotechnics. They had, you know, the the ring, the stage area, the ramp. Every, they had everything there. We even had, had an audience to watch us wrestle. Commentators, music. It was just an amazing thing. You know, I got to meet you know Justin Sane. I got to meet X, Franklin, Trillion Dollar. Uh, I got to make, meet Dave, which is King of Corruption. I got to meet, uh, who else was there? Well, of course, we were there, and I got to meet BC. Well, speaking of BC, he's been involved in the internet drama that's been going on since 2000 to 2003. And what do you think, what, what, I'd just like to get your comments on the internet drama thing, period. I think it's just a bunch of crap. The internet drama, I don't know who it was started by, but apparently it's like it was the OWA. Because, you know, it's started out saying, like, the CW sucks and it, all this crap that we can't wrestle. And, you know, I'm, I'm there to back it up because, you know, I'm one of the best wrestlers CW has. <laughs> and I think, you know, whatever BC started, it needs to end real quick because I think it's just stupid. Well, you and I have been through the training. You just recently graduated. What did you think of training with Franklin and Troy? Well, training with Franklin and Trill, you know, Franklin is basically our develop our skills, our uh, moves in the ring, train us with the, the charisma and the camera, and how to work with the camera and everything. And we went through a lot of moves, different kinds of, of techniques to use the moves on. I put me into the high flying category, you know, and I got to do a lot of high flying, you know, death defying moves. Um, it was basically just a, a great time. I loved it. What did you think about the Franklin Trillion incident? Well, I it's, I don't know how it started. It was like two, I don't know, it was just like a clash of the titans all over again. It was like one person says this, one person says that, and they don't necessarily agree in the middle. And I don't know how it started, and I really don't know how it ended. I just know that it went on, and a lot of crap happened out of it. It just flowed into one big mess of... Recently, Franklin took you to a, to a different promotion, the HEW, and you wrestled there. What did you think about wrestling with them? The HEW is it's a great place to wrestle. I loved it. It was a lot of talent there. Andre Hart, Wicked. We had all kinds of people that wrestled there. It was, it was just a great thing for all, you know, two different feds to come together, you know, and just have a good show there. It was actually their Christmas special. And, uh, you know, I, got to, I wrestled Nightmare, ended up taking the win. Um, I got to watch a lot of matches. There were friends that was in a, a fatal four-way elimination match at the end. It was a great match. I just loved it. 
Well, speaking of other promotions, what do you think about the OWA? I think, well, the OWA, I don't know the Fed or the owner you know, personally, but I think if, I've never seen anybody wrestle, but, you know, it, they could be good, but it's just all this internet crap they're starting, all this internet drama they're starting. This crap just needs to end real quick. So you are part of the Carnival of Chaos. How do you get along with the other members of COC, Justin Sane and X? Actually, they're real close friends of mine. Um, you know, Justin Sane and X, we we go out and hang out outside of the ring, you know. But like when we're in the ring, we actually, you know, do a lot of our technical work. We do it together. We do our best work when we're as a team. And, you know, we go out, we do our thing, we help each other win the matches, which I don't... I think some people think is is you know cheating, but I don't think it is, as a matter of fact, because you know just me and me and my teammates working together as a whole. So you're the IC champ. How'd you win that, and what was the match like when you won it? Well, I won it in a one-on-one -on -one match with uh, Franklin, actually, uh, Rob Franklin. It was the the ring itself was it was really thin. It was just one match, but well, it was like 16 of them, like a really Really big square, but it was really thin. So when he bumped on, it was like taking a, a hard ground bump. And uh, you know, basically through the match, he just he just dominated me. But you know, at the end, I, I got a few moves off. But like near the end, I low blowed him, got it my low bar suplex, and took the win. But like through the match, we had a lot of a lot of good moves. I performed mostly on the ground because I felt the ground felt better than the actual ring itself. Because you know, the spring were digging in my back. But, you know, we did a lot of outside moves. The crowd, you know, was like, oh, my God, that's that's great. You know, and basically the same people ended up coming back to see us wrestle more. Now, you, Justin Sane, and I do a lot of things for CWO's Crazy Camp. What do you, do you think of that as fun, or do you think of it as a job? <laughs> well, actually, I think it, it like swings both ways because it's fun because we just go out, you know, we do our thing, which basically we do every day. And, you know, but as a job, we do it to help promote the CWO and everything. Basically, it's like, it's like the CWO's version of Jackass. And, uh, and it's great. Like, when, uh, Sane jumped off of, a, like, I don't know, like a, a ten-foot roof to this really big bush. And, uh... It was actually a tree. <laughs> it was, yeah, it was like a, like a tree, as a matter of fact. It was just really big. And, uh, me taking, uh... A bump out of a really like a six foot tree. <laughs> I went to it's went to get this tree and the tree like was slanted, it was like crooked. And I couldn't climb up all the way so I had to have uh sand give me a boost at the top. And when I got up I tried to jump into this little bush and I couldn't reach the bush and I slipped out of the tree and fell full force on my elbow. Which was it was a really loud thud. It's not like somebody just took a box of, of objects and just threw them out of a window and hit the ground. <laughs> it was just a beautiful sight. Now, you, Franklin, Justin Sane, and I have all done a bunch of late night brawls. What, what do you think honestly drives us to do late night brawls like that? Well, I really don't know what, you know, they, everybody else thinks about, you know, how, what, what they do in the brawls or how they, you know, get motivated to do them at night and in the cold and like the cold dark. But for me, I just do it because I know I'm being taped and it's just not only fun to do it, but also for the fans to see what it's like after the lights go out here in Hamilton. And everybody, you know, most people just sleep. But when we're out, we brawl in, like, playgrounds. We brawl in mulch. Uh, I've done frost splashes off of 13-foot structures on the U, actually. Yes. Um, it's just, when it's taped, I just, it, I get pumped. The adrenaline starts flowing, and I just want to wrestle as soon as there's a camera standing around. Now, what about the concerts that you and I have attended? In which we wrestled instead of moshed, and we witnessed one of our real good friends, John, break his arm. Can you explain <laughs> that? Oh, when we go to concerts, you know, we take I take my wrestling attitude there, because in the mosh pit, it's basically like a bunch of people trying to hurt each other, which is the same thing for wrestling. But just like wrestling mosh, it also has a certain, I don't know, a certain attitude, atmosphere about it. Like if you hit somebody down, pick them right back up so they don't get tranquil. And uh, we actually go in there and do our wrestling moves like, Slinging neck breakers, uh, suplexes. We'll just do them out in the middle of the mosh pit. And uh, actually, when John broke his arm, was at a level nine of VMOP concert. Jumped in, he went to 
we got them cursed. You go jump in the wash paper. We're like, yeah, dude, go do it. It's fun. You don't get hurt as long as you don't scared at first. I was scared out of my mind, so I got into it. I'm like, you know, this is pretty cool. But, you know, John got up. He's like, yeah, I want to go do it. And John, he's skinny and fat at the same time. He's light, but he's fat. And he jumped into the mosh pit and got knocked right back out and landed on his elbow on the concrete floor. And he sat in the corner holding his arm. And come to find out, after the, after the concert, he uh, actually cracked one of his bones at his forearm. And it was just... I couldn't stop laughing myself. It was just funny. Now, before you and I came to the CWU, we tried to join another promotion, but every time we attempted to go to the arena, something bad happened to prevent us from going. Can you explain on yeah. that? Well, it, it started, you know, you like, told me that there's this girl that has this pro ring. You're like, wow, dude, we're wrestling. I want to go to this pro ring, you know, see how it feels. But it was quite a ways walk from where we were currently wrestling at. And when I walked there, or we walked there, every time we got to this certain point, it started raining. I mean, it, it skies would be blue, and then it get clouded over and start raining. And we'd either run her house and, like, take refuge on other people's porches. And by the time we got to their house, she'd be gone or someplace else, and we couldn't wrestle, or the ring was torn down. And it's just every time that we got to her house and tried to wrestle or something, it's something else you know, try to stop us from wrestling, so I think it's just, I don't know, some supernatural force that don't want us to wrestle in that ring. Now, what do you want to pursue in wrestling? Well, like anybody else in wrestling, I want to be the best. I want to be at the top, you know, take my tag partners to the top, and I want to eventually get a shot at the world title. And, you know, wrestling, I want to be renowned. I want to be, like The Rock, the most electrifying man in sports entertainment today. But in the backyard, I can only go so far to be known, and, you know, people know me on the internet. But I can do that. But eventually, I will get to the pros, and I will make make my mark in the business. Now, if wrestling falls out, do you have a backup plan? Actually, yeah, I do, because lately I've been skateboarding, you know. if I, I People tell me I'm pretty good. But, you know, if wrestling falls out and I can't, something happens to me where I can't wrestle, or I can't get to the, to the pros, I'm probably going to try and pursue a... Uh, career in a professional skateboarder or art because people tell me I can I can draw pretty well. Well, I'd like to thank you for doing this interview with us today. Do you have any last no comments, man? Um, no, I just hope weather clears up soon that we can we can get back get back out there and start doing our thing once again. Uh, don't forget about visiting